Put a bit of glue on that just to make sure it's strong. You have cereals on here, just so you don't forget. Mm-hmm. I'm at the Champlain Maker's Fair now, and I've got this pile of parts on the floor over here. I don't know if you can see that very well. No, there's stuff in the way. But anyway, I'm gonna see if I can put the silly robot together. Oh, my camera's plugged in right now, which is why it's down on the floor. All right, so here's my pile of parts that I'm putting together. Interestingly enough, I made this on a BFB 3000, which I bought from this place over here. That was a funny coincidence. I'll have to go tell the guy. Oh, and I also got a really awesome present from someone. This is unrelated to the Maker's Fair, but uh, a couple days ago, someone sent me this. It's a, what's it called? Plasma cut out of 16th inch steel. And it looks like it's painted black too. Pretty awesome. Talk about an awesome present. Okay, I better go put this together. I'll yammer on later about how much I need to get a plasma cutter. Cause holy cow, the guy put up a video of cutting this out. Oh, I need a plasma cutter. Okay, I gotta go. All right, almost got it together. Um, I changed the thing down here before I had kind of a crappy clip, but uh, I decided I better make it stronger. So I drilled a hole through the steel post and made a little, you know, whatever you call these. I think it's called a cotter pin. Anyway. That should hold the bottom on there pretty good. And in a nutshell, this thing could break at any moment. And it probably will at some point today. But hopefully someone has some super glue around to fix it. I hope this thing works. I actually dropped a part yesterday. I, th I think it's okay though. Seems okay, so far. Did hear a little bit of cracking. Hopefully nothing serious. I also bought some toy robots, so I should uh, whip those out. I don't know, play with them or something. Uh, let's see what I mean. Whoa, nice packing job, Jamie. Sheesh. So this is Elliot, he's my first stalker today. Hey, all this stuff is awesome. Ha, listen to him. <laughs> so the kids are totally going crazy here. I'm trying not to get any anyone's kids actually in camera because I don't know who these kids are. But yeah, it's been like this since the thing started. And it's in the afternoon now. Apparently, the robots are fun. I can get this kid on. She's mine. <laughs> awesome style.
rest of the day was a bit of a blur of screaming kids, piles of them. We got mobbed the entire time. But I got some excellent feedback on the robots. Like, kids really like playing with the robots. Not just for like a couple minutes either. Like there were kids who were there for like half an hour and didn't want to leave. Which was excellent, because that's kind of what I was going for when I made them. Uh, that was some good feedback. I mean, basically, the feedback was, Yeah, you did it right! So, that was good. Uh, so, now I'm back at home. Here's my box of big robots, and there's some little robots down there. <clears throat> and I can unpack all the stuff. Oh, and of course, I also got sick. You know, 200 snotty kids come by, of course I'm going to get sick. <laughs> feeling better now though, it's been a few days. Anyway, oh yeah, the Maker's Fair was pretty fun. I did get a few minutes to go around and look at stuff. Not very many though, because mostly I was mobbed by kids and stuck in my booth. But I also got some little souvenir things. Let me find them. We got these fancy necklace thingies. And someone had a laser cutter there and they were printing out these. So I'll remember that I went there. Yeah, and I got to meet some cool people and see some cool projects. I might have to go to more of these silly things. Alright, I gotta, I gotta go. I have some super important, totally not important, stuff to do.